Hello, hello, hola, hola, it's hola nature. Hola amigos, bienvenidos a todos. Welcome everyone to the Hola Nature podcast. I am your Spanish-speaking, nature-loving, spring-celebrating host, Naomi, and I can't wait for today's special episode where we're going to do things a little bit differently. My hamsters, Nacho and Peep, are at the vet. The forest fairies are out of town, so you're stuck with just me today, so I figured I would do a special bonus episode, just a little mini one, and I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories for springtime today. Now, before we read our story, I wanted to just give a quick little shout out to the Spanish Nature Journal that I just self-published. It is live now. You can find it on Amazon, but it's also linked in the details page of this episode. And I've been working on it for a very long time. I'm super excited. It has really simple, easy to follow prompts in Espanol to observe nature and ask amazing questions. So you can do that every day. You can draw pictures, you can press flowers, and it also has everything you need to learn Spanish. So in the back, it has a Spanish and English nature glossary, um, useful adjectives that you might want to use. And then I even made some bilingual field guides so that you guys can learn about nature in your nature journal all in one place. So if that sounds like something that you would love, which if you love this podcast, Spanish and Nature, hopefully you'll love this nature journal. Check that out. Again, it's linked in the details of here, or you can find it on, on Amazon. Just type in Spanish Nature Journal for Kids and it will pop right up. Okay, vamos a leer juntos. I picked a book called The Story of the Root Children by Sybil von Olfers. I love this book. It is just such an imaginative way to look at how the world is waking back up in springtime. So on the cover of this book, I see these cute little kiddos and they're all holding different plants and they're playing in a pond. And they're about the same size as beetles and libellulas, dragonflies and flowers. So it's imagining that these little tiny kiddos are just root children and they just woke back up because it is springtime. So let us read The Root Children by Sybil von Olfers. Under the ground, deep in the tierra among the roots of the trees, the little root children were fast asleep todo el invierno. They felt nothing of the biting wind, the cold snow, or the stinging hailstorms. They slept peacefully in their warm burrows. They were dreaming of sunshine in which they had played all through the verano and what wonderful sueños they were. When at last winter came to an end and the soul began to melt all the snow, Mother Earth came along with her candle to wake them up again. Despiértense, niños, she called kindly. Time to get up now. You've slept long enough. La primavera viene and there's work to be done. I've brought you scissors, needles and thread, and pieces of cloth so that you can all make new clothes. Wake up, wake up. As soon as you're ready, I'll unlock and open the puertas to the ground. The children yawned and stretched. Then they jumped up merrily. Hooray! La primavera viene! Mother Earth had pieces of lovely colored cloth in her basket. Each of the root children chose their own color cloth to make a vestido. The snowdrop, which is a beautiful white flower, chose a snow-white cloth tan blanco como la nieve. The forget-me-not, a sky-blue piece, azul como el cielo. The buttercup, bright amarillo, just like the sun. The daisy, blanco y amarillo, con un poquito de rojo. And the poppy, a very bright rojo, como un camión de bomberos, a fire truck. Then they sat down in a cozy circulo and they began to work busily. They cut, they sewed, and pressed until everything fitted exactly. And as they worked, cantaron canciones de la primavera. Do you know any springtime songs? Hmm, maybe we should learn some next time. As soon as they had finished making their new vestidos, they went up to Madre Tierra in a long procession. Madre Tierra looked over her spectacles, sus gafas, in surprise when she saw the root children coming so soon. Well, 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 you have been quick, she exclaimed, and how nice it all looks. Even the little hormigas who had been helping Mother Earth to wind up her lana 
came to look inquisitively. They had never seen such splendid clothes. I love in the picture you just see these little ants rolling up balls of wool. It's so cute. But there was still more to be done. The ladybirds, las mariquitas, los escarabos, the grubs, and the abejas had also been sleeping under the ground and had now woken up. They had to be washed and brushed, painted colorfully and made to shine so that they would look as beautiful as possible. What a hustle and bustle was going on down there. Up above ground, the warm sol was already bringing out the new green hojas on the trees. Would the root children be ready in time? And I love this page. It shows one little root child. She's painting a ladybug red. Another one is scrubbing a little beetle with a sponge. Another one has this little tiny brush and is brushing a bumblebee. It's so sweet. Are you looking for engaging ways to help your kids become bilingual or learn Spanish? Look no further. Imagine the joy of your children laughing along with characters, exploring new worlds, all while easily picking up Spanish. But how? Here's where LingoPie steps in. LingoPie offers an extensive collection of Spanish TV shows perfectly suited for young learners. From colorful animations to educational programs, there's something to captivate every child's interests. And the best part? With LingoPie's interactive features like clickable translations, adjustable playback speeds, and flashcards, your kids can actively engage with the content, making learning Spanish a breeze. LingoPie isn't just for kids, it's a platform that caters to learners of all ages. You can explore LingoPie's collection of adult TV shows in Spanish and learn alongside your kiddos. So if you're ready to embark on this bilingual journey with your kids, give LingoPie a try. Click the link in the description and see how LingoPie can help your whole family learn Spanish. Ooh, es un desfile de colores on this page. You see all of the root children in their new dresses and they're all holding bright colored flowers and the little beetles and grasses are marching along with them because at last, it was really la primavera. Mother Earth opened the puerta then out into the lovely warm spring sunshine came the stately procession of escarabajos, mariquitas, and their root children with their blades of grass and flowers. En el bosque, las mariposas fluttered happily around the flores. The lilies of the valley found a cool spot in the shade of the arboles beside the blue violeta, and there they let their flower bells tinkle. Their two old father Schlip Schlop Schlibberslock came slowly creeping along. It's this old grumpy looking snail. Ha! There you are! Bienvenidos al bosque! He called to the children. The little violet looked at him shyly from her safe place behind her tree. She had never seen such a creature before. El verano vino, in the little brook that flowed between the meadows, the water lily let herself be carried over the agua like a real princess. The reeds whispered in el viento. The forget-me-nots came and stepped carefully into the water, but the beetles grumbled. It's getting too crowded here. Go and play someplace else. Those silly beetles. In the flower meadows, the root children were having a high time. They danced nimbly, oh yes, están bailando en el sol. Hop and skip, whoopee, what fun. If only it were always verano. Would you want it to always be summertime? I don't know, I love all of the seasons. The mariposas fluttered above them, and even the escarabajos risked a dance. The crickets chirped, the bees buzzed, and that was their music. Mind out, little grass, don't fall down. That is totally the music of summer, right? Las abejas zumbando, los grillos cantando. Oof, I love hearing those sounds in summer. But summer also came to an end. The sharp viento del otoño whirled the brightly colored hojas through the air and tugged at the root children's clothes. Who called the viento, hurry home. It's getting cold here. It's time to go to bed. So then they all went back again in a long procession. Mother Earth was standing by the puerta and hugged each child one by one. Come in, niños, vengan aquí. 
she said, and you too, beetles and bees. It's warm and cozy in here, debajo de la tierra, and I've got something for you all to eat and drink. After that, you must all go to sleep until I wake you up again in the springtime. And all the little root children went down under the ground again to start their long winter's sleep. All right, mis amigos, there we have it, the root children. And I just love imagining right now all of these little root children, the seeds and the beetles and the bugs, they're all waking up and getting ready to come above ground and greet us all for springtime. I love that. I hope that you love this story as much as I do. I always love reading it in springtime and I cannot wait for our next episode. So definitely stay tuned. Don't worry, we will have the forest fairies and not to and peep. The whole gang will be back for this next episode. But until then, I hope that you keep practicing Spanish. Check out, again, my Spanish nature journal for kids. It is live now on Amazon. And just know that I am so proud of you. I hope that you feel proud of yourself. And I am really looking forward to the next time when we get to say hola to nature.